The emotion starts right now on Mari. She has to raise triplets alone. I was with Casey. He chose another woman over our kids. This is this my fiance. Is no, okay, fiance. You are not there when we and were having sex. Yeah. Yeah. Triplets. Is he the father? How did he go from this to this? Honey, look at me. right now. And more paternity pandemonium you have to see to believe. And that baby came out and said, what? That's not my son. Do you think they look alike? Yes. They look exactly alike. Derek? Oh, my God. Now, when Jessica was just 16, she discovered she was pregnant. He broke up with me, and ever since he hasn't thought he was a father of my son. All of a sudden, because of his mother? Yes. Everyone's gonna know what a slut that little fish face is, and we're finally rid of her. You know what I mean? Child look like your son. No. You let me talk. Let me talk. Well, let's find out right now. Mark. Ah! He says you were together three times to use protection. Probably in one night, three times. Ah! Is this your child? No, it's not my child, man. We're going to find out. Guy, an incredible hour of Mark starts now. Everyone, this is Shanice. Now, when Shanice was seven months pregnant, she says this man, Guy, deserted her. <laughs> deserted her and began to <laughs> her baby. Why? Because Shanice believes Guy's new girlfriend, Rachel, forced him. That's right. That's right. That's Before right. we speak to Shanice, this is what Guy and Rachel have Watch this. I'm a thousand percent sure that I'm not the father of Shanice's baby, Stefan. Shanice and I only had sex three times, and we used protection every single time. It's impossible. I know for a fact that Shanice was sleeping with other people at the time that she got pregnant. A few of them was my good friends. Shanice thinks I'm denying her baby because of my wife, Rachel, but that's not the case. I trust my husband. When he said that's not his baby, I believe him. I know Shanice's son isn't mine. She carried that damn baby for a whole year. Shanice's baby already weighs 100 pounds. And God forgive me, but it looks like he has up and down syndrome. Trust me, I do not make babies that look like that. When this test proves that I'm not the father of your baby, I want you out of my life. You ever heard stuff like that before? No, Mari, that's that he on. That's what he's on. He don't know what he's on. Outside his neck, that is not his wife. Could be his cousin for one. Yeah. You didn't know that. Hey, you didn't know Shanice. that. Shanice says you were together three times. He used protection. Each three time. times, Maury. Probably in one night. Three oh. times. No, no, not just three times. More than three times. Protection, right? Yes. Without protection. Well, guess what? To make sure that everybody's telling the truth, we gave Shanice a lie detector test, so we're going to have that. Okay. So when, when you were two months pregnant with Stefan, what did you tell what did He you tell was God? like, I'm going to be there for your baby. I'm going to support you. He was going to be there for me while he talking so about that's what, it. That's when you were two months pregnant. That's what, when I was two months what, pregnant. What happened when you were seven months pregnant? When I was seven months pregnant, he got with Rachel. Rachel started putting that stuff in his ear, talking about, that ain't your baby. The baby don't look like you. How you know what we was doing when we was together? Was you there? No, we did not have no threesome. It was only two months. Gave birth. Was he there at the hospital? No, he wasn't there. I guess he decided to go on a trip vacation instead of seeing his son. You know what I'm saying? You think they look alike? You think my so? son is beautiful? Y'all see my son? My son is He said this baby was huge. So How my baby gonna be a hundred pounds? Babies can't be a hundred pounds. They too much. Here they are, Guy and Rachel.
you're positive, you're not the problem. I mean, I'm a thousand percent Boy, positive. You ain't right? What else, man? Three times, man. That's no, it. No, 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 not three times. You were not. You was not there. I'm not gonna say that. I'm telling you, you were not there. 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 No, I ain't seen. Take I, a look. I, I seen. I seen the baby. I seen the baby one time on the picture. Take a look. Look at the baby. Look like God. me. She, well, you, uh, if I'm ugly, you say your baby ugly because you say it look like me. My baby fine, baby. My baby no, is fine. My baby okay. look like me. Are you gonna if it's yours? Murphy, the baby mine, I'm gonna be there. Okay. The baby mine, I'm gonna be there. Okay. So, we wanted to get all the facts out in the open, so we gave Shanice a lie detector test about whether she was telling the truth about her relationship with Guy. Here are the results. You were asked, Shanice, if you had sex with Guy more than the three times he claims you did. You said yes. The lie detector determined you were telling the truth more than ten times. Three of which without protection. Well, You know, I don't know whether sex without protection should be applauded or not, but that's what the result is. <laughs> but now, this is the most important thing. Is this your child or not? No, it's not my child, man. We're going to find out right now. <laughs> when it comes to two-month-old Stefan Guy, you are the father. <laughs> Don't get on him, all right? You let him in his life. Because if you're in his face all the time, you'll drive him away, and you want him in your child's life. Because he's the father, right? Thank you very much. I apologize. The baby man, I'm going to be there. You know what I'm saying? That's, I'm going I'm to I'm be a man in my world. I'm going to be there for the baby. This is Jessica. Now, when Jessica was just 16, she discovered she was pregnant. Now, Jessica hoped and believed that the love of her life, Mark, would be there for her. But... Like in so many teen pregnancy stories, Jessica was sadly mistaken. Watch. When Jessica was 16 years old, she fell in love with her boyfriend, Mark. They became high school sweethearts, and she truly believed she was with the man of her dreams. Me and Mark were so in love. Although Jessica was only in the 10th grade when she found out that she was pregnant, she says she and Mark were pleasantly surprised together. During my pregnancy, he was always there for me. When I gave birth to my son, he was in the delivery room. He signed the birth certificate. It was the best thing that ever happened to me. But just two months later, Mark unexpectedly began to deny that he was Dominic's father. He broke up with me. And ever since, he hasn't thought he was a father of my son. I know I'm not the father of Jessica's baby. And I know Jessica's a lying, cheating whore. But Jessica believes that Mark is being influenced by his family, mainly his mother Mary. Mark's mother Mary is ruining my life. She's telling everybody that my son is not Mark's. Jessica is a low down, no good, white trash hussy who's never been good enough for my son. I'm glad we're gonna find out today that this isn't my son's baby, then we're through with her for good. I'm only 17 and I can't do this by myself. <laughs> Did you cheat on it? No. I love him too much to cheat on him. She go around calling you names? Like what? <laughs> a bitch and a whore and a hussy and... You think it's like Mark? Yes, Mark. Time to meet Mark and his mother, but before we do, they had one more thing to say, Jessica. Look at this. 
Jessica, today is the day you'll find out that I am not the father of your baby. And when you do, I never want to see your face again, so stay the hell away from me. That's right, finally, everyone's gonna know what a lying, cheating slut that little fish face is, and we're finally rid of her. Here they are, Mark and his I got to Harry first because, you know, seems to be the lightning rod in all of this. What is so upsetting to you? She lies all the time. From day one, she has done nothing but lie. Does that child look like your son? Yes. No. 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 Mark, you all admit that you're a boyfriend and girlfriend, right? Yeah, it was. You were. Because you had a friend of yours in the same room with Jessica, does that mean they were doing something? It is whenever she rushes out to greet which she never ever does any other time. And he's putting on his shoes and his shirt when I walked in. He never takes his shoes off when he comes to visit. He didn't have a shirt on. He didn't have no shoes on. He did have a shirt on. Thank you. Oh, really? It should have been me in my house when I wasn't home anyways. It wasn't your apartment. That was your friend. It was my apartment. Mark. Certificate? That was before I even heard any more rumors than I heard. Oh, so There's 50 more could pop on after that. Hold on. How old is this baby? Four months. So all these rumors have been in the last four months, right? All these rumors came down he after. Yeah, one of them was her own. Not to sign it. Own heard them rumors. If this is your child, are you going to get back together? No. No, no way. No way. No. Ah. Let's find out. I know all this audience thinks it's your child. When it comes to four-month-old Dominic Mark, you are the father. We are not in the world of whatever. You know what we're in the world of? We're in the world of caring for that child. That's okay? fine. That's fine. Right. Thank you, man. You guys ain't nothing but trash, all three of you. I hate Derek. I hate Brooke. That is not my baby. Did you say you wanted to be with her? She Brother. was a stripper, so you know she takes a yeah. couple of dollars. Yeah. Derek. Ah. She has to raise triplets alone. He chose another woman over our kids. This is this my fiance. Is no, okay, you are not there. We were having we sex. Yeah. Triplets. Is he the father? Oh. I'm not. These women all came to the show to hear one thing. You are the father. Now, this woman, Brooke, and this guy, Derek, have two completely different stories about who the father of her son, Jakari, is. This is the ultimate case of he said, she said. Watch. One year ago, Brooke met Derek and thought she had found the man of her dreams. When I met Derek, we hit it off instantly. We were together for a month and a half. I felt for this man. Brooke can say we was together all she wants. All I remember is sleeping with her two times. Shockingly, Brooke found out she was pregnant. When I told him that I was pregnant, he promised me the world. He told me he was going to be there for me and the baby, and he said he was going to marry me. I never asked Brooke to marry me. We was never in a relationship, and all I know is I'm not the baby dad. And by the time the baby was born, Brooke finally discovered Derek was not the man he claimed to be. I hate Derek because he was not there for me when my son was born. I hate Brooke. She calls me, I hit the ignore button, I even hang up the phone sometimes and cut the power off because I know that is not my baby. Wow. He is 
was a compulsive liar, Maury. We, he was together. We was, oh my goodness, Maury, he's a liar. By the way, Brooke, you know how many kids he has? Yes, he has 15, six that he does not claim. Six that he does not claim. No, he doesn't say that. He doesn't say 15, 16. Yes, six of them that he do not claim. Yes, so who's the host? He says he has eight children. No, he has he does not claim. <laughs> he need to get a hysterectomy. That's what he need to do. He is worse than these prostitutes out here. All right. I had to say, watch this. Brooke, everybody know you the number one hooker on the block. You best believe that is not my baby. Yep. Here's Derek. Derek, come on out. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. He look just like you. 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 Trailer trash, man. Whatever. But you smell with this trailer trash. You damn sure did. I got so many. talk to you. Please, Derek, please, I want to talk to you. If this is your child, you're going to see that child? A lot of heat, Mar. There's a lot of heat between them. You're take care of that child. Yeah, I take care of the child. You Man. take care of the child? No problem with that. She Man. says you have 16 kids. Nah, that's her You got six friend. that you don't even claim? Your ex-girlfriend told me that. You didn't what talk happened? about marriage? No. Whatever. No. Whatever. Just like your Just like your but so you know, she take a couple of dollars for a bill. Y'all take a couple of dollars for a bill. Y'all take a couple of dollars for a bill. Y'all take a couple of dollars for a bill. Y'all take a couple of dollars for a bill. Y'all take a couple of dollars for a bill. Y'all take a couple of dollars for a bill. Y'all take a couple of dollars for a bill. Y'all take a couple of dollars for a bill. Y'all take a couple of dollars for a bill. Y'all take a couple of dollars for a bill. Y'all take a couple of dollars for a bill. Y'all take a couple of dollars for a bill. When it comes to five-month-old Jakari, Derek, you are the father. <laughs> Just back off, okay? Give him a chance to be involved in that child's life. This should be your last child. You ought to make sure of that. No problem. You don't need any more. No problem. Just take care of that child for me. Thank you so much. <laughs> so we have paternity drama like we've never seen. It's hard enough, you know, being a single teenage mother raising a baby. How hard do you think it is for Casey? She has to raise two-year-old triplets alone. Take a look at her story. It is hard being a single mom and raising triplets. I go day to day thinking, how am I going to feed my kids? I was with Casey for six years, and I never thought he would do this to his children. Everything changed when he got with his fiance, Rachel. He chose another woman over our kids. It's nonstop. I don't think anybody understands. No, nobody understands. It's hard, isn't it? It's harder than anybody could ever imagine. I think she's kind of brainwashed him. He, is, he hasn't seen his children in over a year. In over How a long year, did you all date? My baby's oh. You're jealous of me. You're jealous of me. Well, they're going to come out here, and they had this to say first. Watch. Casey, you cheated on me countless times. You are nothing but a scandalous I did not follow these triplets. Three kids without any of my features makes you three times a whore. I've taken care of these triplets. Even though it seemed I was happy, I have never felt a connection with any of them. Casey, I am not going to let you take advantage of my fiance anymore. You and your three kids are his past. Stop being jealous of me, because I am Casey's future. When Maury reads three times you're not the father, I want you to leave my man alone. Ridiculous. Here's Casey and Rachel. Here they are. Come on out. They're not you, his kids. Wait, not this, his kids. Do you have nothing to do with this. Yes, What's I do. Okay. Yes, this I is do. between well, me you and him. No, no, this is this my is, fiance. No, okay, but this, this is my fiance. You are not there when we and were having we sex married? and conceiving those children. You know children. what? Well, maybe. You, maybe. 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 Maybe.
And so don't oh, These kids weren't mine. When it comes to two-year-old Kylie, Casey, you are the father. <laughs> when it comes to two-year-old Chloe, Casey, you are the father. <laughs> Just and when like it comes you. to two-year-old Caden, Casey, you are the father. <laughs> you took me I'm like 3,000 miles away from home to, for something that you already knew. I you did saw. not know for a fact. I did not. Case, please. please. Get out. Not. No. Casey, Casey, Calm you're down. the father of those children. Exactly. Okay. I All am. right. Calm down. I'm going to take. No. How did he go from this to this? Honey, look at me. This man is about to hear a secret from the woman he wants to marry. And only one other person knows the secret. His own mother. I cheated on you. I don't know. It's not What? Mom, oh, you mean to tell me you've been knowing this? Yeah, I'm sorry. And his mother has a devastating secret of her own. It's a mess. The results are in. You are the father. This Father's Day, do something special for that man in your life. Show your appreciation for all the hard work and sacrifices that your father has made. Thank you, thank you. Enter to win a personal Father's Day message from me for that father who has everything. Happy Father's Day. Everyone, this is Samantha, and Samantha's here to reveal a terrible secret to the man that she loves the most, Stacy. Now, ironically, sitting next to Samantha is Stacy's mother, Sunshine. How about that? You see, Sunshine is here to help Samantha tell her secret to Stacy because Sunshine knows it's going to tear her son apart. Watch. My boyfriend, Stacy, is the most important thing in the world to me. I've been suffering in pain, living in guilt for the past year. Because <laughs> I've been holding this secret from him. Stacy, Mother Sunshine is here with me today to help me tell him this terrible secret. Sunshine is like a mother to me, and she's my best friend. I had to tell somebody what I'd done. My heart is breaking for them because I know Samantha's secret is going to tear my son Stacy apart. My family is my world. It would break my heart to see my family fall apart right in front of my face. Stacy and I are talking about getting married, but I'm terrified he's going to call off the wedding <laughs> once he finds out the secret that I've been holding from him. What's the secret? That last year, when me and Stacy broke up, I slept with someone else, and I'm not sure if my daughter is here. What did you think when she told you? I was crushed. I was devastated for my family. That's your little granddaughter. That's my baby. Oh. That's my baby. He loves Amari. He loves her so much. If you all loved each other, how come you broke up? I don't know. I thought we were doing fine. He left. He, 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 he was the one who broke it off. Yeah. Well, Sunshine, we're going to bring him out here. When she tells that secret, you're going to have to really, really impress your son to, not to go crazy, you know? Mm -hmm. This is what Stacy had to say. Watch. My girlfriend, Samantha, and I have been together for almost two years. I love her and my daughter, Sanai, more than anything. They are my world. When I found out Samantha was keeping a secret from me, I was very shocked. I mean, we have a very honest relationship. Ever since she told me she had a secret to tell me, I couldn't sleep or think about nothing else. I'm hoping whatever Samantha has to tell me will not destroy our family. We just had a baby together. We're talking about marriage. I don't want anything to jeopardize that. And I hope what Samantha has to tell me doesn't. 
Everybody, here's Stacy. 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 I know this thing's going. This is going over and over in your mind. It's crazy. You have any idea what this is all about? Nothing. Okay. So now tell him. Tell him why you brought him here. Last year. When we broke up, I cheated on you. And I don't know if Sonata is sure. What? <laughs> and here's the thing. Stacy, she confided in your mother. I'm sorry. Mom, you mean to tell me you've been knowing this? Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. Stacy, we can do a paternity test and find out. You want us to do that? Please do. Please. You want, you want to do that? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> now, Sunshine? Yeah. I know you're very upset. And you have a secret yes, to reveal. Yes, I do. You have a secret to reveal to Samantha. Yes. <laughs> Samantha, you know, at first I didn't like you. I didn't know you like I know you now. And I didn't think you were the best one for my son. You, you remember last year when y'all broke up? Yeah. I paid Stacy $200 to break up with you. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh I'm sorry. Can you forgive me? I'm sorry. We didn't know each other like this now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look, there's one thing I think that can bring peace to the three of you. I just, I need and, that is, baby mind. and that is a paternity test, okay? okay? So if that's what it's gonna take, let's just hope that the results are what we all want, okay? okay. All right? Okay, okay. Stace? All right? Yeah. Okay. The question is, can you forgive Samantha? Yes. You got to, Stacy. Stacy, that's it's gonna be let him think. Let him take some time to think about this, because this is a big deal. This is my baby, I can, but I don't know. If that's not my baby, I don't know what to do. I, You'll still I just don't know what I can do. You, you love that little girl. You can't go anywhere now. She needs you. I love my baby. I, that's, if you could just see how we are, I mean, she knows who daddy is. She knows what daddy is. I feel like this is all my fault. My grandbaby may not be mine because of what I did, manipulating them both. I didn't know Samantha like that before. I just wanted the best for my son. Now I realize she is the best. And that little baby may not be mine because I was manipulative. And that grandbaby, she may not be mine. I love her. I love her so much. The secrets are out. But is he this little girl's father, Stacy? She cheated. And now this marriage rests on the DNA result. It's going to be heartbreaking if he's not mine. If he isn't yours, I'm so sorry. Alex. <laughs> you are the father. Get off my stage. <laughs> These women all came to the show to hear one thing. You are the father. This is April, everyone, and April has come to us today to try to save her marriage to her husband, Alex. Now, sadly, the results of a paternity test for their seven-month-old baby, Tristan, those results are going to determine this couple's ultimate fate. Here's the story. Seven years ago, April and Alex exchanged their wedding vows. They were madly in love, looking forward to their future a future that would include having children and raising a family. Alex is my one true love. Our wedding day was one of the happiest days of my life. We have a six-year-old son together, and his name is Brandon. I love my wife, April, very much. And the main thing for me right now is to be there for and to take care of our family. But after five years of marriage, April and Alex hit a rough patch. They separated for six months, and shockingly, what brought them back together is now what could ultimately tear their family apart. When Alex and I separated for six months, I was with somebody else. They had the perfect family. <laughs> I don't know why I did it. 
Before we separated, me and my wife were trying to have another baby. Once I found out that April was pregnant again, I didn't want to lose her ever again. Tristan was born. He's now seven months old. But who his biological father is would prove to be a heartbreaking issue. Alex and I have always known that there was a chance that he wasn't Tristan's father. We're both just hoping that Tristan is biologically his. But Alex has known about the possibility, right? Yes. Has he been a good dad? Yes, very much so. Do you so. think he treats that child any differently than he treats his older? No, he doesn't. So maybe we should meet him right now. I, I like to meet good people. Here's Alex. Alex, <laughs> Good to see you. Well, you know, you know, Alex, here's, here's, here's what I can say about a. She never tried to hide anything from you. Mm -hmm. If this is not your child, are you going to stay together? I, I really want to. It's going to be heartbreaking if, if he's not mine. But with Tristan, it's, he's worth the sacrifice, the hurt, and the pain. So let's hope for the best, okay? When it comes to seven-month-old Tristan, Alex, you are not. Remember, the wife, your wife, is the mother of the child. Right? And you can be every much a father as any father in the world. Trust me. I know you're such a good guy. All right? Thank you. We'll be back after. The secrets are out. But is he this little girl's father, Stacy? That baby came out and said, What? Not my son. Do you think they look alike? Yes. They look exactly alike. Derek. Oh my God. The results are in. You are the father. <laughs> this Father's Day, do something special for that man in your life. Show your appreciation for all the hard work and sacrifices that your father has made. Enter to win a personal Father's Day message from me for that father who has everything. Happy Father's Day. These women all came to the show to hear one thing. You are the father. Thank you. Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. We all know that. And Natasha here filled with fury because she has been scorned by this man, Derek, who wholeheartedly denies that he's the father of her son, Nadari. Here's your story. My name is Natasha, and I'm here today to prove that Derek is the father of my one-year-old son, Nadarius. When I first told Derek about the baby, he was happy. That didn't last long. I'm more than 100% positive that Derek is the father of Nadarius, and that you can't believe. <laughs> You all went together for six years. Six, six years. years. We've been together for six years. You know what he says? What? Two. Two? Two? Yeah. Six. Six, and I've been knowing him for ten. All right. Well, this is what Derek had to say. Now, listen to this. Watch this, everybody. I asked Natasha something to tell me that I'm the father of her son, the Darius. But I know I'm not. Natasha wasn't even my girl when she got pregnant. She been away for a while. But when she got back, we got together, but I used protection. Barely a week and a half later, Tasha tells me that she's pregnant with my baby. When that baby came out, I looked at it and said, what? 
That's not my son. I did not sign the birth certificate because I did not think the baby was mine. And what she do? Go right behind my back and get a baby. My middle and last name. Once this test come back that I'm not the father, I need you to stop creating drama and please leave me alone. There he is. There. Embarrass her when she brought Nadarius to see you. It wasn't embarrassing. Yeah, you embarrassed me. It was just respect. I'm no, in my other house. No, no, my other baby mama house. Say that because of my other baby mama house. Whatever. I'm showing you your son, and you trying to sit there and embarrass me from all the people If you're not the father, if you're not the father, Derek, if you're not the father, why did you show up at the hospital? Just to see how he looks. You feel me? Okay, yeah, that's what you did. But I ain't signed no birthday. You feel me? Not today. Well, guess what? We're going to find out right now, okay? Because she told me, Derek, if you're the father, you take care of that. Yeah, I promise, I promise. When it comes to one-year-old Nadarius, Derek, you are not. Secrets are out, but is he this little girl's father? The answer is next. Stacy, you are the father. Get off my stage. These women all came to the show to hear one thing: you are the father. Now tell, um, him, tell him why you brought him here. When we, last year, when we broke up, I cheated on you. I don't know if Sonata is sure. What? <laughs> she confided in your mother. I'm sorry. Mom, you didn't tell me you've been knowing this. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. Stacy, we can do a paternity test and find out. Do you want us to do that? Please do. Please. Do you want to do that? Yeah. Stacy, I see you're letting her grab your arm there. Yeah. How, how's it been? I mean, it's been nerve-wracking. I mean, it's, when it sit in, it was emotional, but I mean, it's the thought that I can get past this. In other words, you'll stay together. You'll raise this child. Yes. Let's get the results. Hope for the best, OK? <laughs> Wow. I hope we're right here. I hope this sends happily. When it comes to two and a half month old, Samaya, Stacy, you are not. It's okay. No, she's it's still not. she's still my baby. That's my baby. She's still my baby. Yeah. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. She's still my baby. I don't care what that paper says. She's in my heart, and that's where she's gonna stay. How did he go from this to this? Earlier, the DNA results proved that Casey's ex-boyfriend, a man also named Casey, was the father of her triplet. Backstage, Casey was heated, and security had to get involved. But then suddenly, he became very emotional. Can you describe it right now? I'm happy that it's over. I'm happy that, you know, these kids are mine. 
We hope things work out for the sake of these beautiful triplets.